In this video we will talk about acceleration, negative acceleration and deceleration. So acceleration is the change in velocity or the change in time. It is defined as a vector, which means it has a magnitude and a direction. If a bird flies at constant speed on a straight line, it does not accelerate because it does not speed up, slow down or change its direction. If a bird flies at constant speed and suddenly dives down, then there is a change in direction and hence acceleration. We also need to define a coordinate system for our discussion. Usually positive is up and negative is down. So if the bird dives down, it flies in a negative direction with a negative velocity. So acceleration is a change in velocity either in magnitude or direction or both over time. Now let's consider an example. A racehorse runs off in pursuit of freedom. What is her average acceleration if she accelerates from rest to a final velocity of 10 meters per second in 6 seconds? Let's visualize the situation. The horse starts from rest, which means that her initial speed is zero. Then she runs off and accelerates for 6 seconds to a final velocity of 10 meters per second. We need to define a coordinate system. As usual, we'll define to the right as positive and to the left as negative direction. Now let's list our unknown and known quantities. We have the initial velocity, the final velocity and the time t. And we are looking for the acceleration. The initial speed is zero, the final velocity is 10 meters per second and the time is 6 seconds. We define to the right as positive, so the final velocity is positive. From our definitions we can see that the change in velocity is positive and therefore the acceleration will be positive. Putting our values into the equation we obtain 1.6 meters per second squared for the acceleration. Now suppose the horse suddenly thinks about her favorite hay and decides to run back to the racehorse track to get it. This means that she is now running in the negative direction. If she now starts from rest and accelerates to minus 10 meters per second, her acceleration will be negative. 1 minus 1.66 meters per second squared. As you can see, this is not the same as deceleration, which means slowing down. In this case, the horse is actually speeding up towards the negative direction. Let's talk about deceleration now. Assume that the horse has found freedom and slides to a stop in excitement. In this case, she is slowing down or decelerating. What this means is that the accelerating will be opposite to the direction of motion. So the horse is actually continuing to move forward, but because she's sliding to a stop, acceleration will be backwards until she stops completely. Let's summarize by comparing negative acceleration and deceleration. We have seen that we can have a negative acceleration even though the horse is speeding up. It just means that, that the direction of motion is negative. For deceleration or slowing down, we need the direction of motion and the acceleration in opposite direction. As you can see, the acceleration is negative in both cases, but only in the right case leads to slowing down.